Hello and welcome to my video, Top 10 Mysterious Tombs. Number 10, Vampire Burials, Poland. Researchers have found vampire burials all over the world, but we are focusing on Poland in this list. Cemeteries have been discovered that some of the graves have been marked as housing a vampire. Skeletons were found with sickles around their necks or stones jammed in the throat or mouth. All of these were used as a precaution to keep the dead from rising again. At first, it was thought that this was primarily done to travelers who died, but recent studies say that, that people got singled out due to dying of an illness that people mistook as vampirism or the supernatural. Number 9. Edgar Allan Poe Toaster Edgar Allan Poe had many fans during and after his life, but one in particular took the prize as the most devoted. For years, a man appeared on Poe's birthday, which is on January 19th, dressed all in black and with a scarf covering his mouth. The man would then proceed to toast Poe with a bottle of cognac and place three red roses at the grave, along with what was left over in the bottle. Sometimes the mystery man would leave a note, and in one such occasion it was revealed that he had been doing this tradition since 1930. It was also written that he had died in 1998, and this ritual was passed on to his son. As of 2012, the toaster had stopped coming by the grave, leading many to believe the ritual was over. The man was very seldom seen, and even rarer photographed, but many have claimed to be the man, but all are deemed copycats. Number 8. John Rennie Tomb The images of this tomb speak for itself as to why it is on this list. John Rennie was a simple house painter who died at the age of 33 in 1832. His tombstone consists of 285 letters in an acrostic puzzle. Starting from the center H, it reads, Here lies John Rennie. It is claimed that it can be read 46,000 ways. Many believe that John carved the stone himself, and it is written as such to confuse the devil so Mr. Rennie could make it into heaven. You can find this headstone at St. Mary's Priory Church in Monmouthshire, Wales. And as a side, I will poke fun at myself, as in Wales the country, not the animal. Not with the H. Number 7. City of the Dead, Russia. As with the vampire burials, there are cities of the dead in other areas, such as Egypt. But today I am focusing on the one in Russia. These tombs resemble little houses on a hill, which is located outside the settlement of Dargavs. The area consists of 99 tombs and have been dated back to the 12th century. It should be, sta it should be stated that some reports vary in, say, the 16th century. On the top of the hill there is a tower, and the purpose was the thought that there always has to be a tower to watch over the dead. According to the legend, the crypts were built to house people who had the plague, so they could live in it, but they could never leave. Many townsfolks refused to enter the tombs for the fact that it is believed that anyone who enters never returns alive. Number 6. Rennes-le-Chateau Crypt This unassuming church found in France houses a huge mystery that is rarely seen outside of the movies. The church I am talking about is the Saint Mary Magdalene. In 1885, a priest by the name of Baron de Saint-Yer was appointed the head of the church. In 1891, he decided to renovate the church, and with a small loan, work began. Inside a hollow pillar was found genealogical charts and codes in Latin text. The key to decode the documents were found in the church's graveyard, written on a tombstone. The priest took the documents to a specialist in Paris. At one point, a strange slab was found that only Saunier had access to, and after he opened it, this once poor priest started spending large amounts of money. There are claims that portraits inside the church give clues as to the locations of more hidden treasure. It should be noted that there is a strong link to the Knights of Templar with the area the church is currently sitting on. Beranger spent the rest of his days searching the church for its secrets. Number 5. Aurora Cemetery A slowly dying town in Aurora, Texas was forever changed by an event that occurred on April 17, 1897. At 6 a.m. a UFO hit a windmill and crashed on a local judge's property by the name of J.S. Proctor. The military showed up and it is said in one report the operator of the craft was 
not from this world. The alien was buried in the local cemetery and some of the craft was dumped into a nearby well. In 1935, Brawley Oates bought Judge Proctor's property and reportedly removed the debris from the well so he could use the water. Later, Mr. Oates developed severe disfiguring arthritis and he claims it was due to the contamination of the well. Oates sealed the well with a concrete slab in 1957. MUFON investigated the cemetery and found a small gravestone that appeared to show a UFO and a metal detector showed something metal buried below. They asked permission to exhume the site but were denied and when they returned the stone was gone and no metal was detected. Number 4. Jeremy Bentham Mr. Bentham was a very interesting and influential individual in life. He advocated such things as freedom of expression, separation of church and state, equal rights for women and homosexuals, and the abolition of slavery. He also was involved in a lot of humanitarian work, but I'm not going to go into everything here, but I re recommend you do look him up. What makes him part of this list is the fact that when he died, he had a public dissection and ordered in his will to have an auto icon of himself set up. His bones were padded and his clothes were put on them and he is sitting currently at the University College of London. Originally, Mr. Bentham wanted his mummified head used as part of the ex exhibit, but his friend, who did the process, didn't understand the process and it came out looking quite macabre. His head was housed in the same case until it was later moved to storage due to vandalism. But it should be said, the wax head in the exhibit has Bentham's actual hair covering it. Number 3. Terracotta Army In 1974, local farmers discovered the ancient burial place of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huangdi. What was amazing was upon further excavation, researchers found three pits containing terracotta figures. It is estimated that there are over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 250 horses, and 150 cavalry horses. What is even more fascinating is that every single statue is different. In particular, no two soldiers have the same face. Later on, it was discovered that statues of officials, acrobats, strongmen, and musicians were also included in the exhibit. The thought is that the army was set up to protect the emperor in death. It should be stated that also located in the area was an earthen necropolis in a pyramidal shape that housed the emperor. While many people may have seen this before, not many, not many may know that the statues were actually brilliantly painted and once the tomb was open much of the paint started to flake off. Number 2. Ancient Chemical Warfare A perplexing unintentional grave was found in Syria. Syria with one of the dead appearing to grab its chest. Once the story of what had happened to the 20 soldiers found inside was discovered, it left everyone amazed. The Persian army had dug a tunnel under the Roman-controlled city in an attempt to undermine the city walls. The Roman army created a similar tunnel, attempting to break through above the Persian troops. The Persians heard the Roman troops coming, so devised an ingenious trap. As soon as the Romans broke through the Persians, lit a fire and threw sulfur and bitumens on it, and using the natural smokestack set up of the tunnel, caused a plume of toxic smoke to encompass the attacking Romans. The result were 19 dead Roman soldiers and one Persian who had become a victim of his own army's gas. Number one, the Chase Vault. This is quite an interesting case of an anomaly that has yet to be explained involving the dead. The tomb is located in Barbados in the church, Christ Church Parish. James Elliot built the tomb, which was made of stone, coral, and concrete walls two feet thick. A blue slab of marble was put in place to seal the crypt. Mr. Elliot's wife was the first one to be placed inside of it in 1792. A few years after, another family purchased the tomb, and when the pallbearers removed the marble slab, they discovered it empty to which no one knew what happened to Mrs. Elliot's coffin. Finally, the Chase family purchased the vault, and in time, the entire family was buried in the tomb. When the crypt was opened to receive the last Chase coffin, again, it was observed the coffins had been moved around. Later on, another family member 
must be placed inside, and when opened, the coffins had been moved a second time. Even a 240-pound lead coffin had been moved. Finally, sand was ordered to be poured on the floor to identify intruders, and the door was sealed in cement with the governor's seal in it. For the last time, the vault was opened years later, and all the caskets were moved, and one was resting against the door, and no prints were in the sand. At this point, the coffins were buried in normal plots, and to this day, the tomb remains empty. Thank you for watching my video. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.